Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today, we're talking about bandwidth. Internet bandwidth. How much do you need? Is 5 megabits too little? Is 300 megabits too much? Well, let's find out what you use it for. Now, let's set a baseline. I don't have cable. Um, I stream a lot of my video via services like Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, things of that nature. Also, YouTube. I view YouTube videos uh, over my television. So all that's streaming. Plus, I do this blog, uh, which is upward bandwidth as opposed to downward bandwidth, which is most streaming that you see. Um, what I currently have is 25 megabits down and five megabits up. Now, for me, that works fine. There are two people living here in the house, me and my son, and we have, uh, I counted, 15 devices on the network. So on the internet, we have 15 devices. So 25 megabits down and five megabits up suits me just fine. It handles all my streaming video down, how he streams quite a bit as well. So we can stream both simultaneously and not get any buffering. What's buffering? Buffering is when you're watching a video and all of a sudden it does that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, and you get the little spinny thing in the middle, you know. So we don't have any of that at the 25 megabits down, five megabits up. But what do you need? If you're a single person living alone and you use the internet pretty much for just email and the occasional watching of a video that someone sends you, um, you'll probably be fine with five megabits down and five megabits up. That's usually the cheapest plan you'll get from your cable provider or your, um, your I don't know, TV provider. Um, things like AT&T Uverse and Verizon Files aren't really cable, but uh, they provide TV. Um, I was with uh, Verizon Fios for quite a long time. And with them, I had 25 megabits down and up because that was the plan they were offering. Uh, but I, when I measured the speed, uh, in my particular case, and I can't say that this is the entire network for Fios, but in my case, I never really got the 25 down and the 25 up. I was always pretty much locked at 15 which I didn't really like. And then when Verizon raised their prices on me, I changed to Comcast. Now, Comcast, I have 25 down and five up, as I said. And when I do a speed test on that, I actually get a little bit more bandwidth up and a little bit more bandwidth down. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with my current provider. Um, now, if you stream a lot and you have four or five people in your house, uh, tw try 25 megabits down and five up to start. If you get a lot of buffering where your videos freeze and it has to wait to load more, you might want to go up to the next level. Now, Fios is currently marketing 300 megabits down and like 100 megabits up. Unless you're a business and you're supporting, you know, 50 to 100 people, I can't imagine you'd ever need something like that. Uh, it's also pretty pricey. Uh, but, you know, you have to judge what you use it for. But I would say start with the lowest because, you know, companies will always be happy to give you more. So if you're a single person, as I said, five down, five up should be fine. If you're a family, you might start with 15 down and five up. Uh, if you don't use a lot of streaming video and things like that. But if you're, you know, doing a lot of streaming, 25 down, five up should be fine for your bandwidth. So don't fall into the uh, trap of the marketers of these um, internet bandwidth plans. You don't need 105 megabits. You don't need 300 megabits unless you're a business. And if you're a business, the price goes up again. So that's hopefully will answer any of your internet bandwidth questions. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV and Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Have a great day.